All right. Just see if I'm. I just want to take just enough time to make sure it's coming up. It is okay. That's really what I want to know. So okay. All right. I'm also practicing with my tablet, which <laughs> is not always what I want it to be. Okay, let's see here. All right, I think we're all set now. All right, I am getting better at this, but I still have a long ways to go before I really feel that I know what I'm doing and all of that stuff. So, but every time I learn something new, it seems like. So that's good, isn't it? Okay, this is Sonia. I was stamping around the dining room table. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I wanted to um, go sh share with you the fine art suite, fine art, I probably said it incorrectly, and floral art suite. And it is in our mini catalog, which um, I'm, this is being shown on YouTube on January 6th. So it went live on January 5th, meaning that customers can now order from this and I can show you pictures inside not just the cover although on this happens to be what you're seeing here this happens to be what I'm going to be using today this suite okay it is found on page 32 32 through 34 and it has a lot of different things in it it's got the stamp it's got a, a bundle of a stamp set and a die set it's got ribbon which i have the ribbon right here beautiful ribbon nice and soft easy to make a bow with it has some um, acetate sheets that um with it and it does have designer series paper it also has an embossing folder and they, something new for Stampin' Up, or at least new first time in a long time. They have some gold leafing, which I'm not opening this today, but just showing it. They do have it. They also have what they call what's called heat and stick powder. You do it use it similarly to the, to how you use embossing powder. You put um, VersaMark on whatever you want to color to have that stick to. And then you heat emboss it, and it becomes sticky. And then you put the um, the gold leafing on it, and with the brush or you know the tool that you use to brush it off, um, we'll put that on. And here it's just kind of showing. This shows right here. Okay, so just the, being stamped. The heat and sticks applied, and then the um, gold embossing or the gold foiling is on it. All right. Um, today I'm not doing the gold and bought and the gold. I'm not going to do the gold leafing today. Get the right word here. <laughs> um, but I am going to show you um, a, a fun fold. And if we have time, I'm going to do something um, with the embossing folder. Our celebration also is in effect now from the 5th of January to February 28th. It's only two months this year instead of three. But for every $50 you spend during that time, you can choose a free item from this book. So buying from the mini catalog or the annual catalog or any combination will get you um, something from the celebration as long as you have at least a $50 order. So for every $50, you get something. So if it's $50, you can choose one item. If it's $100, there's a few things that, one or two things that are $100 that you can get. Or you can get two fifty dollar things. Just that's how that works. Okay. If you're not sure about it, you have questions. If you go to, you can leave a comment here, 
Oh, and I'll do my best to answer your question here. Or you can go to my um, Facebook page, Stamping Around the Dining Room Table, and you can either leave a message there or private message me, and I will do my best to help you. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'm more than happy to be yours. And my website, if you want to go there to look around and see the things and order anything, it's called stamproundthetable.stampinup.net. Okay, so first of all, I do want to show you last Friday on my Facebook Live, I played around using the papers from this set. And you can see there's some of them and how pretty they are. Um, and I made this um, fancy Z fold. It's not your ordinary Z fold, it's on an angle. Um, if that's something that you would like to learn more about, you can go to. Um, to my Facebook page to see that. Here is the second one. So you see a little more of the paper here. Okay. Then, um, just to show you some pretty much standard cards, I, you can see, the, the one of the nice things with this paper, it looks, what they did was somebody actually painted, um, painted these pictures. And then photographs were taken so you can really see I don't know how well it shows up on the screen but you really can see like the paint stroke so whether they used a brush or whether they used a palette knife whatever you really can see the paint so I did this one and, and there here's this it's a little bit it's the same thing just the opposite direction okay so it's got a basic um, card base a regular card base and then a piece of cardstock and then the designer series paper, each just about a quarter of an inch shorter than the one before. Okay, the um, I mentioned that there's acetate sheets and they do have gold on them. Um, we have a couple that have designs. One's an all over flower design. The other is more of a geometric design. And you can cut those and put them over like cardstock like I did here. I did um, adhere this using um, glue dots in the corners. I put it under the gold, rolled it and put it under the gold um, in the corners. And then this I popped up and so I put more right under there. And it's staying, yes, it isn't 100% attached, but it's staying pretty well. Another one is this one page of the acetate coordinates with this one um print that that one of the DSPs the designer series paper and it, if you do a 12 by 12 so if you wanted to do like a um, scrapbook 12 by 12 scrapbook page you could put that down this could go over the top beautiful it just matches up it just gives some nice gold accents okay so I wanted you to be able to see those things these are all things that I made using this suite okay so just another quick look here all right now, if you so you can see how I did these. If you want to go to my um, to my Facebook page, this was from Friday, January first that I did these. Then Tuesday, January fifth, I showed these, and I made this card. And and January fifth, I also went through things a little in more detail. The what's included in the suite. Today, I want to show you how to make this fancy fold, corner fold card. Okay, see the, pa the paper here? It comes, that's part of that paper. Okay, it's how you cut it and fold it, and I'll show you that in a moment. My upline, the person who I signed up under for Stampin' Up! made this card, um, and... If we have time, I will also show you how this is done using our um, using the um, embossing folder that came with it and some Versamark and um, embossing powder. So, all right, so let's get started with this. So what happens with this is that you start out with a regular card base. So this is half a sheet of cardstock. It's eight and a half this way, five, and, it, and it's five and a half this way, so it's half, like, if it was a full sheet of paper, this would have been cut at the, at the five and a half inch mark of the 11 inch side. Okay, so, and, and it was, um, and I scored it down the middle there. 
And of course, right now I don't see. Oh, there it is. A bone folder. I just like to do that to get a nice edge there. All right. So, how we put this together. There's the rest of my. Oh, there it is. Silly me over here. <laughs> okay, so how this goes together. I do have a white piece of paper for inside here. And this has this half of this, this like it would be five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is five and a quarter by four. So it's just a quarter inch smaller there. Okay. Then for the front, I also have a piece of paper of designer series paper cut at five and a half or five and a quarter by four. I, in, in addition to that, I have a post-it note that is three inches square. And then I have a couple of these that are like two and three quarter inches square. And I'm not sure which one I might want to use. So I'll decide that later. So how this starts out is that you first um, adhere these together. Where's my... All right. So, whoop. I'm going to do something there, kind of in the middle. Now, so you want to try and have a good, you know, try and make get it as even. That's pretty good. Might be off a little. Now, you take the three by three post-it note and you put it right all the way up in the corner. Okay. And then you measure over five eighths of an inch. Now I'll show you on here. This part I always find is a little difficult to really be able to see well, cause they have some sixteenths in there between one and two. They just have, um, eighths. So, Five eighths is a one half, which is four quarters, and then two more. I guess this is 16, so that must be 30 seconds. Yeah, that's 30 seconds. I know what I'm talking about. So, if from this edge, if I put the one inch at the edge, then I'm going to go, let me grab this. I take your pick tool. I'm going to go, there's the half, and then this so here's four eighths and it's five eighths okay so i did that both both places and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut along the edge start you're going to start here at that mark cut down to here then turn your paper and cut over to here so from this line to the corner and this line to the corner okay the other thing you can do is this should be now you want to make sure that this edge lines up with the cutting edge there and make sure that your um, this is right up against there now you're gonna up here let me pick this up a little bit I want to make sure I get this over where I need it now because I'm going from the corner I want to make sure, see right here, I hope you can see it, there's a little line here. That points to the numbers over here. So that's going to start at 3. And then you're going to go up to this mark, which is 5 eighths. And on here, if you wanted to look on here, that would be, if I can see it, good. There's a half an inch, and then this one right here. But I'm also going to look, so i got two places that I can check that out. So three, and then they go up here. I think that's about right. And then, because this is going the other direction, the biggest thing is, let's see here, it's all... How did she do that? <laughs> it was right on the three. I don't, maybe she did it here. This would be it, maybe. You can do it on this side. Okay, and again, you're going to come down to the three. I, I actually got this idea from Rachel Tessman. 
and I love the fold, so I said, I've got to do that. So three, and you're going to go up to, I think that's about it. Hopefully that's right. And see, then you have this here. No, I did get the center. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like it, hopefully that's right. Let me just kind of take this and measure this to double check. Yep, five eighths. It stopped. Yay! Now, this is the most, well, maybe for some of you that may be the most difficult part. Once you've got it cut, then you're going to pull this corner down here, and this is going to flip up, okay? So the outer corner comes to the center, this, and this is going to flip that way. And then you're just going to with your bone folder come right across like this and burnish that and this go straight up and burnish there okay so when that's finished that's what it looks like okay then this piece is going to go on here and you can decide what you think looks better do you want just this one is a little lighter. It's got a little less of the darker color in it. Okay. And see, it is the back of this paper. Or you might like a little bit of the darker. You want it like that. So this is a square, so do you want it like that? Like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think I think I'm, I don't know if I really am going to like it there. I'm going to do it this way, I guess. So what you're going to do is, whoops, put this so, and so you're going to look at this outside edge, this outside edge, and then here. Okay. And you want to make it, okay, that's as good as I'm going to get, I think. It's right there. And then you're also going to put a little bit of sticky right here, whatever you, whether it's glue, whether it's that, whether it's a glue dot, and push that down so that it will stay. So there's that. Ta-da! You got that fancy full color. When you open it, look, that's on the inside. I was almost afraid, because, you know, when you do it, you're not sure what direction I was saying. Is that going to be upside down? But it's not. I like how that turned out. Okay. So, I decided on here, you know, I put some flowers. And so then I wasn't sure what colors I wanted. So, somewhere here, right here. So, I played around a little bit. I did some different combinations. I did, actually, I may just trim these out a little bit. Just to make it a little bit easier. Maybe I'll get my bigger shears for that. Um, cause some and this is, whoops, let me do it this way. This is, I used the Petal Pink and the Terracotta Tile stamped off. This is Petal Pink with the Terracotta Tile not stamped off. Okay, that's this color is the Terracotta Tile. And the, this pink is this color. Okay, then they had just the one yellow, the terracotta tie, I mean the so saffron. So this I stamped off, because this is a two-step stamp, I stamped off the um, so saffron, and then I put just the dark over it. The other thing I could do is Pool Party and Night of Navy, because those are both in there. And I tried a few different things. This one, Pool Party, and the Night of Navy... Let me just see here. And I played around with pool part, with both of them being stamped off, just one being stamped off. Okay, and then I also did tried even just navy with navy and, and the pool party with the pool party. So let me just, I'm going to end up making myself some cheat sheets anyway on here, but let me just see. Do I like, it's kind of, let me see here if I can do this so I don't have to cut. So 
see which one I like the best. Do I like? I'm afraid that may almost fall into the background there. Let's see, I'll try this one first. That might be okay. I might like this one even better. That would be all right. Let me see the pink and the yellow is how I like those. Okay. Terracotta tile in the pink, petal pink. Oh, I think I might like that one. It really pulls the yellow showing a little bit. It seems to really pull those colors out. Hmm. This um, petal pink is full and the terracotta is cut. It's not. All right, it's not stamped off. And then here, I tried to figure this out ahead of time, but really, until you get it all together, it's hard because you don't know exactly how the colors are going to come up on the card. And then there's the, oh, I don't like both the dark, but you have to read this one. Oh, I kind of like that too. So it's either going to be the, I think, I'm either going to do the yellow, and those of you watching are probably already voting, oh, do this color, do this color. <laughs> the yellow, or... The pink and terracotta tile. Of course, that kind of pulls in the card base. Do I like it lighter? So it will look just a little different because that's a, got the bluish background. Okay, that one. I'm just looking one more time here. See, when you're when you're um, creating, sometimes this is the most difficult part. This almost makes that look too light. I think I like it stamped off a little better. I want to do that one. And this one for sure would be this. All right. Yellow. Actually, what I'm going to do, I know that I already put that down there, but this is what I'm going to do because I'm a little, I'm not 100% sure. I think I want the, the terracotta tile in the, um, the, pink the petal pink one but I'm not sure so I'm gonna start this is what I'm gonna do and here's get my okay so here's the outside so and how did I just gotta look yeah it's gotta be lighter so I'm stamping off and then I'm stamping this Okay, so actually I was going to do it on here after I did that. Stamping off, and I want this more in the middle than the other original one I did. Now when you use the photopolymer stamps, you do want some cushion underneath. The, I have like a mat that's under this that gives a little cushion. Unlike the rubber stamps that have some thickness, these don't, and it makes many times gives a better impression if you actually um, put something under that it can like sink into. Now, you can see on here, see this goes like this, and this kind, and how that goes. So you just hover over it and kind of, it doesn't matter if it matches up exactly, but you want, you know, you do it kind of close to what. Well, that's not bad. Now let me try, whoa, I'm going to try my other colors to see if I like them any better. And we'll go from there. just want to stamp this off a little, make sure I get two colors and not some mishmash of colors. Okay. So, let's look at this again. Okay. So I always do the petal pink full strength because I'm just afraid it's it'd be it's so light. I'm afraid that if I don't, you're not going to see it, really see it at all. So again, this is going to go here. And I did the wrong color. No, that's the right color. Oh, phew. For a second I thought, oh, I did. I did do the wrong color. 
Oh my gosh, I have Flirty Flamingo. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I have Flirty Flamingo instead of Petal of my... Here's my... All right. Well, guess what? That happened for a reason, I guess. So I'm going to just... I'm going to go with it. Because it actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Make sure I have the right one now. Terracotta Tile. And so I'm going to just... Let me just see this, because now that I, I don't think I did those colors together, did I? Let me just look real quick. No, so let me just try, just so that I know what I want. Now I'm for sure, I already made one mistake. I don't need to make another. So, Flirty Flamingo. And some of you there probably said, oh, wait, that's not the color she thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Full strength. Ooh. And it is stamped off. Hmm. Well, that's full strength on there, so I don't know. I should, probably would have liked it better if I stamped off and then did it. Oh, well. I'm not going to. All right, maybe it will. Maybe I just didn't. Let me try it again. Maybe I didn't get enough ink on it. Okay, I, it it may be all right. All right, so let me try. I don't have much choice unless I want to get another whole piece of paper, which right now I. So you're seeing me trying to decide what I want. Oh, there. What do you think? All right, so now what I need, put these out of the way, what I need to decide is, do I like that, which picks up this color, or do I like this? Obviously, that one's a little more subtle. So I guess it would, both of them, are either of them are fine, actually. I think I like... Today, I think I'm in a brighter mood. <laughs> That's the way to put it. But if you wanted it to be more subtle, then you could put the yellow. But I think I do want it to be a little more powy. So, I wanted to put on here, thank you. And I was trying to decide, I think I might want, let me just, again, do this on. Just so I can kind of get an idea. Oh. I think I want that. I'm trying to think what is a good color to put the thank you on with. I think it's this one. There. Well, what do you think? I know some of you are like, oh man, she ruined it. I wish she'd gone with the yellow. But anyway, so there's that, and then what, and then on here, I would, let's see what I got here that I want to add to it. I think I might try these. These are the um, Frosted and Clear Epoxy Drops. See, some of them, you can see up there, some are frosted and some are clear. I'm going to put one here, just trying to see, do I like I think I might like the frosted on those. Either one is fine, but I think I'm going to try the frosted. So these have sticky on the back. Put that there. I always put odd numbers on. Do I want it like this or do I want it like this? Something like that. There. And then on the inside, where did I put my white paper? <clears throat> right? <coughs> <coughs> usually we stamp on this before we you usually stamp on it before you put it in. I think what I might just to don't want to try. I think I'm gonna try this littler bunch of flowers on the inside. 
So I'm going to do the same the flirty flamingo on the outside, or I mean the, for the base. Now the, this flower you could do just by itself if you wanted, like that, or this little one can be used to kind of fill in a little. It also goes with the, uh, it also can be used with this one to give it a little more definition there too if you want. And that's really all it's for is to give a little more definition. So I found I like doing it like that and then like that. You might not like it doing it at all. You might not like doing it more than once. You know, it's whatever you want. That's one of the nice things about this is that it's your own creation of what you think you might want to do. How does this look just by itself? Looks like that. Let me see. Give an idea. No, I'm just going to leave that. Okay. And then I can put my, when I decide, I'm not going to do any more on the inside today because, and that, I, I, you may have heard me say this before. I usually leave the inside blank just because I won't know until the time that I give it to somebody exactly what I may want to say. And usually we oops, oh, just put a little of this on the center just to kind of hold it for now so we can really see what it will look like closed. Um, but so many times, and it's a thank you, so I may just want to, you know, write a note, not put anything inside. Or it could even be some, one of the other sentiments, like, um, thank you, you're lovely, thank you, you know, I miss you, I'm thinking of you, whatever. But see, then you can see, it really makes that, makes this pop, makes it stint, jump right out. So, okay, so any comments? Even it's just like, well, I really like the other better. <laughs> so there's two different cards, the same card style card but you know two of them made from the same paper pack okay now the other thing I'm not even sure how long we've been going here but I'm going to take a few minutes to try I hope anyway to show you this other um okay oh my gosh my something went on with my tablet I wants to install some update some install it's like oh my gosh of course because i wanted to use you <laughs> and i don't know that this will tell me either okay that's all right um okay so what i'm going to do is get is this okay, so now i'm going to do my version of this card Okay, doing some different colors, and I do have to bring this over. I didn't do this part ahead of time because I wanted you to really be able to see how to do it. Now, this is a 3D embossing folder, so it's thicker. Let's see, this is getting in my way here. And for the 3D, you do the base, which is one. And then you do this in the middle, and then you just do the specialty plate, which is four. That's one of the nice things with these. They, everything's numbered. All right. So what I'm going to do, because I do want to put, like on here, I'm going to um, put some um, embossing powder. And what, what I want first is, I don't want any stray... Marks, although it may not show on this so much because of the type of here's let's see I just wipe it all off with this little it just it really has like powder inside of it okay so that's set that's I'm setting that to the side that's set to go let me do this before I I'm going to get this out of the way because my space isn't that big here okay and then I'm going to just take my Versamark and just swipe it in a few areas. Okay, each time it's gonna come out differently because you're not gonna be able to swipe it the same exact way, you know, twice in a row. 
or two times, whether it's in a row or not, I guess. Okay, so now, and because of the width of my paper, it might look different if it, than if it was a little wider also. So I've got this in here. Wait a minute. Okay. Then, so I've got my base plate. I've got the folder with my paper inside. And then my number four plate right here. And then I just roll it through. out of my way Oop. so when I open this you can see where it is all right so where's my gold where's my gold this I'm gonna do gold and we'll just see and if if you want a little more on it you know you always can do that so as well so it's not like And it gives a little different look if you do it like I did. As opposed, the other way you could do it is run it through and then put the Versa mark over it when it comes out. Okay. Whoop. But I think. All right. I think that's it. Oh, wait. I spilled a little here, and I. This is taped down, so one second here, because I don't want that to get through what had hit this right here. So I can... Scrape as much of this off as I can. Okay. Put this in with the lid on so I don't have a bigger mess on the floor later. All right. And then... Got to grab my heat tool. <laughs> so now I let's see how this turns out here. Wait a minute. What's going on? Go in there where you belong. There. Okay. So it does get a little loud. I apologize. You have to let it heat up. As most of you know, if you've done this at all before. I'm trying to hold it over here and hopefully you can see it. Yeah, it's coming. Whoa. Does it look like it's all? Yeah, I guess it does. I thought maybe I missed something, but I think it's just. I think that's it. Just want to make sure one more quick. So obviously, I don't want to over overheat it either, because that's a different issue. Than, whoa! You end up having. All right. Okay. So here's what I ended up with. Okay. Now the other way, as I said, is that I could have just run it through and then, you know, swiped it over. All right. So this time I'm having this color base and I'm going to have, I'm going to, so this, this card again, it's five and a half or 11 in this way. No, that's not right. It's five and a half this way, eight and a half this way, scored at four and a quarter. So the front is five and a half by four and a quarter. So this, these are five and a half long, okay? And this is about four and a half. And this, I think I made an inch and a half. So it is longer or a little bit wider, I mean, than these. We want them to overlap. So I just want to see here first. Do I like this better this way? Or do I like it better this way, lighter? 
And the other thing I'm going to do, because I did, I knew with everything it was going to take a long time, and now of course I'm not. I cut out, I stamped and cut out the flowers I'm going to use, and they were right here. So wait a second, let me move some stuff. Oh, here they are. They fell over here. The silly one. So this, see, that's what she did here. So this is going to go like this. So what I want to do, so there's that. And, oh, if I can get a hold. Yeah, I'll just see. Do I like it better? I might like that. I may bring it down just a little bit. Do I like it better like this? With the lighter pink showing, or do I want it with kind of more of a combination with some of the darker showing? I think I might like this better, but let me try it one more time. Then it kind of pulls this color over a little more. Yeah, I think I want the darker one. So, again, seeing kind of how things that sometimes we do to try and pull our creations together. Okay. So I'm going to just... So this one I'm going to line up. I'm going to do it single. So I can really see where the edge is because sometimes they aren't quite even. And then and then this I'm gonna do it. Does that look right? It's a little cool. I think that's about right there. And then and I was actually thinking you could either, if you wanted, you could also put some of the gold leafing on here. Another thing you can do is if you have a Versamark pen, if you want to just put a few like little lines of that and then put the gold embossing on that, you could do that. Let me see. I think I want if I can get to my here. I think I'm going to put these are the gilded gems. Okay. So I think I could have this totally flat, but I think what I might do is put this on flat like this. I want to make sure is that what I want. Yeah, because I want to be able to put a greeting there. And then this, I think I'm going to put on dimensionals. So, so I guess one of the things here is that you do get to see a little bit of the creative process here today. As I just kept... Sometimes I, I like... Being a little more of a free spirit and not just have everything planned out down to the letter, as it were. Is that now? And where's my? Oh, here it is. My take your pick tool. Hmm. Nope, it's got something stuck to it. Let me take this. Maybe that went down, of course, got a little hair or something stuck to it. Sorry, you're probably not only half hearing me. I'm going to do a different one because it seemed to have a little hair on it. There's that. And I had a plan for, which, where is it? I had thought I had punched them out, which maybe I did. And again, did they fall over here where the others have fallen? Maybe. All right. Well, I had a plan for two, two of my punches, and I thought I had them here, but now I don't see them. So let me just grab this, 
and maybe I didn't. Maybe I just thought about it. Now this is the oops. This is the everyday label die or die. Everyday label punch. Oh, that's maybe a little. I think that's a little too big. And this one's probably gonna. All right. So I am gonna probably do a different. But we're starting to run out of time here. So, and I think I'm gonna use this. This gray here is um, slate, the um, smoky slate. But let me see, where is that? I have the gray over here. I have basic gray. I don't know the dusty slate would be, smoky slate, I mean, it would be too. I think that might work. So. All right, so what I'm going to do, because I need to end this and not keep it here all day, is I'm just going to, I could cut it with my scissors, but I'm not very good at that. At, um, so I think I'm going to make this a little longer there so I can use this. I don't remember the... Put a little bit usually I look at the back to make sure I got it lined up properly looks like it's well it's off a little but there I'm gonna put this right here okay and that one also might be popped up a little I think because I don't think it especially because it's going over the flower stem all right so And I may play around with that a little bit later. I'm not sure if I want some more gems on. I might. Which could be maybe even here and here. So I may do something different with this and I may just cut it straight. Or I might put one of these over. We'll see. I'll, sometimes I have to look at it for a little bit. And I may go back and move those around. Okay. Now if you are interested in seeing the gold leafing done, I am. My plan is to do that on Friday the 8th at my um, Facebook page, Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. Right here, Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. I go on, I go live at 1.45 um, in the afternoon. And I would love it if you would come and to see that. Um, I'm doing things a little differently. Partly it was because this there's so much to see and do with this suite. Not that I haven't been with others, but I really, I really was just getting started over this past few months doing um, doing videos. And now I really, and so a lot of stuff was one and done, but now, you know, one project for each thing and done and move on to the next thing. But what I want to do now is to really be able to spend some time and really get into more things that you can do with the, with one stamp set or, or sweet or, you know, whatever. So hopefully you can see all those so maybe I'll do it like this, because there's my the original, there's what I did today, there's that original, and what I did today. Okay, so I appreciate any, I appreciate if you have any constructive comments. Um, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up, and if you um, do like what you see, please subscribe, um, so you can um, see future videos that I have, um, it, and... If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, as I said earlier, I'm more than happy to be yours. Just reach out to me. Okay, so I hope everyone has a good week. I'll be back here on YouTube again next Wednesday, the 13th at 7.30 p.m. Um, until then, I hope you have a great week and happy crafting. Bye-bye.